Space is vast, it is dark, it is very quiet. For a long time we have looked up at the stars, we have wondered what is out there. Are we alone in this great empty place? We built small ships, we sent them out into the darkness, they are our eyes, they are our ears in the deep black. One of these ships is called Voyager 2. It has travelled for a very long time. It has gone farther than any human. Now, from the endless night between the stars, it has sent something back to us. Something strange. Something that nobody expected. This is a story about a message. But it is not a message with simple words. It is not a picture we can easily see. It is a whisper. A whisper that travelled across billions of miles of cold, empty space. It came from our little ship, Voyager 2. This ship is old, it is tired, but it is still working, it still talks to us. For years its voice was familiar, it told us about the cold on distant planets, it measured the solar winds, but on a quiet Tuesday in late summer the voice changed. It said something new. What happens when the universe answers back? We spend our lives asking questions. We send our questions into the void on small metal messengers. We hope for a sign for any kind of reply. The silence can be scary. First it flew by the giant planet Jupiter. It showed us swirling storms. It showed us lightning in its thick clouds. It discovered new moons orbiting the planet. It sailed on to Saturn. There it studied the planet's famous rings. It found that the rings were made of thousands of smaller ringlets. They were like a giant record with many grooves. It was programmed to look at the strange blue world Uranus. It was programmed to look at the strange blue world Neptune. These were places we knew very little about. Voyager 2 was our explorer. It flew on toward the edge of our solar system. In 2018, it crossed a boundary. It left the bubble of protection created by our sun. This bubble is called the heliosphere. Voyager 2 entered interstellar space, the space between the stars. For years, the messages from Voyager 2 were predictable. They were a steady stream of data. The signal was very weak. Then, on September 2nd, 2025, something changed. The normal signal stopped. For a few minutes, there was only silence. Just when they started to lose hope, a new signal arrived. It was something else. It was a pattern, a sequence of ones and zeros that was not random. It looked like code, but it was not a code that NASA had programmed. News travels fast in our modern world. At first, the strange signal was a secret. Soon, rumours started to spread online. A strange message from deep space. The world space agencies became involved. They used their own large antennas to listen. They all heard the same thing. The news was now official. But hearing that did not make people calm. People around the world reacted in different ways. The world was holding its breath together. The scientists worked day and night. They were code breakers. They printed out the long string of ones and zeros. They put it on large whiteboards. They discovered a key inside the message itself. It was a complex mathematical key that unlocked the pattern. The ones and zeros started to make sense. They were a set of instructions, instructions to create an image. As they filled in the grid, pixel by pixel, a shape began to appear on their computer screens. Everyone leaned in closer to see. The image was strange and abstract. It showed two circles. One was small, one was much larger. It looked like the diagram of the hydrogen atom that we had put on the golden record. From the small circle, a line pointed to the large circle, a shape that looked very much like the Voyager spacecraft itself. It was a map. It seemed to say, we have received your little ship. It confirmed that the message was intelligent. The universe was no longer silent. It had nodded back at us. The message from Voyager 2 suggests that we are all neighbours in this vast cosmic ocean. The journey of discovery continues. We will keep sending out our little ships. We will keep building bigger telescopes. We will keep listening for whispers from the dark, because we are a curious species. The universe has given us a sign that there are answers out there waiting to be found. The new question is, who else is out there with us? Please like and subscribe to Cosmic Discover.